Hello and welcome to Hot at Home, your questions answered. I'm Jackie and today's question is from one of my Facebook friends, Tanya. Tanya says, I would love to know if it's possible if a woman can have a tight stomach or even abs without starving myself and eating very plain. Well, yes, I do and I don't. I do have a flat stomach and I don't eat very plain and I don't starve myself. So it is possible. Um, but I did have to change a couple of things in my life in order to obtain that. And um, the first one is I, um, I had to break my addiction to foods uh, that were detrimental to the process. So fast foods, convenience foods, processed foods. I had to start to learn to really like um, and taste the natural flavor of whole natural healthy foods. Because when you're addicted to these highly processed foods, there's a lot of sugar and a lot of salt and a lot of additional tastes added um, that you, you become adjusted to and you come to expect food to taste like. But I'm here to tell you that once you break your addiction to those kinds of foods, those kinds of foods actually start to taste chemically really salty and extremely sweet to the point where they don't taste good. Um, so it, trying to like wean yourself off these kinds of foods and getting more used to eating uh, you know, lean proteins that are like broiled or uh, grilled or uh, baked, you know, seafood baked, whatever, um, and not, you know, millions of sauces on them, like skip the barbecue sauce and just taste the meat. Your, your taste buds do start to adjust and those kinds of foods do actually start to taste quite delicious. No word of a lie here. No word of a lie. One of my most favorite meals is just to go and grill a steak and grill some asparagus and grill some red pepper and that's it. No condiments, no sauces, no nothing. I just can just taste the food and a little bit of grilling flavor on it from the grill. Um, but that's all I need. You know, or broiling. I mean, I like to saute asparagus and, sna and snow peas or broil the meat with just a tiny bit of like black pepper on it. Um, it's delicious. It really is just like delicious. And I haven't added any extra c calories from sauces and um, false tastes, like chemically false tastes. If you read the ingredients list on most of these processed foods, it scares the heck out of you. At a certain point, I got to a point where I read the ingredients list on everything and the ingredients list scared me so much that I started refusing to put this stuff in my body because just reading the ingredients list, I know it's not healthy. So in, in my refusal to eat those foods, I actually did start to adjust, my taste buds did start to adjust and I started to like, start to really lo love whole natural healthy foods. So, um, you know, and you can use whole natural healthy cheese to increase flavor and stuff like that as well. You know, there's things that are on the approved list that do have tart or tastes. Like I, I usually eat old cheddar when I eat cheddar. I, I use raw milk cheddar um, because it's healthier for you, but I always get the most flavorful version of it that I can get. I don't like the mild. It just test, doesn't taste like anything. Uh, the medium, it's all right, but I really like the old stuff, the really tart stuff. So, um, and then once you, once you start to adjust your taste buds, yeah, at first, I will admit, at first I did eat very plain. Um, and I felt like I, I, eat, I ate very plain, you know, there's not a lot of flavor in oatmeal, but I'd put natural cinnamon in that and add a little bit of natural honey and maybe a couple of, you know, raw almonds crushed up, or not raw almonds, raw walnuts crushed up into it um, to help it get more flavor. So the other thing you have to change in your life is if you don't know how to cook or you're not good in the kitchen, you kind of have to start learning. Um, and I, I, I learned by accident. I learned because I refused to put certain foods in my body. This is the processed stuff. And so I was eating plainly. But then as I was eating it, I would think, oh, I wonder how this would taste if I combined it with that taste. I'll try that next time. And so I would try it the next time. I'd be like, oh, hey, this tastes really good. So I, mean, I make my own sort of teriyaki sauces now with just maple syrup and soy and some garlic. Except for maybe the soy. I don't 100% agree with that. But it's just a little bit, for, it's a little bit of flavor. Um, it's really delicious and it's all natural foods. Yeah, the maple syrup's caloric, but at least it's a whole natural food and it's got some flavor in it. So there, there are foods out there that have a really strong flavor that are on the approved list. You have to be very, very careful with them because they're highly caloric. I add avocado to almost everything because it's so delicious. A lot, of, a lot of calories in that. So I have to be careful how much avocado I add to my salads and stuff like that. So um, once you are adjusted to whole natural healthy foods, if you start to just experiment in the kitchen with things that you are willing to put in your body that don't scare you and just see how tastes go work together, 
if you start whipping up some really, really, really tasty dishes, um, just with like experimenting, and sometimes, yeah, it won't taste so great. <laughs> That's what experimenting is all about, right? Like, oh well, oh well, I'll eat it anyway because I made it, but it's not, it's not 100% great and I probably won't make it again. Um, but that's how you learn. Um, one of my favorite things to put on, um, on scrambled eggs is raw milk cheddar and just a little sprinkling of like Louisiana hot sauce. Um, really flavorful and the ingredients list is, is pretty okay in that particular condiment. So um, it really flavors it up and really makes it really, really tasty. And it's a great, you know, pr lots of protein and it's, it's, it's great for, for, you know, fat loss and muscle building and all that stuff as long as you keep your eye on your calories again. I mean, I know that you know it's all about calories because you've already asked, you know, without starving myself and eating very plain. So you don't want to starve yourself. You do want to, you know, you do want to take fat off your body, though, if you want a flat stomach. So you do need to get your calories below maintenance. So nothing to the point of starving. Starving, you know, only two or 300 calories per day lower than maintenance is all you need to do, um, really, to make it happen. And eating whole natural healthy foods will help you stay fuller longer on less food. So you do, that's why it's so important to like train your body and your taste buds to, to like whole natural healthy foods because you can eat a lot of it without eating a lot of calories. Like if you're eating processed food, usually there's not much nutrition, but there's lots of calories. So it's almost impossible to keep your calories below maintenance. But when it's whole natural healthy foods, you get lots of nutrition and not as many calories. And it's easier to stay below maintenance. So, all right. So I hope that really helped you out. And uh, that's all I've got for you today, but we'll see you guys again next time. Take care.